I gave up a ticket to see the Nightingales and Stuart Lee in Birmingham to watch this game. And you might think, at nil-nil, I got the raw end of the deal. But actually, despite the scoreline, it was a hugely entertaining game. Warsaw, in the post-match words of their manager, Dean Keats, feel that they should have put Shrewsbury to the sword. They certainly had plenty of chances, but you've got to credit the boys from Salop for all those last-minute blocks and challenges that kept the scoreline blank. What I really enjoyed as a first-time visitor to the Bankses this season was the sense of a vibrant, young, intelligent, attack-minded Warsaw team starting to come together. The likes of Zeli Ismail down the wing, Morgan Ferrier lively up front, Liam Leahy, a really promising young left-back, and especially George Dobson, one of Arsenal and West Ham, so classy in midfield. Shrewsbury were a little bit more, should we say, agricultural but they'll feel that for all their sweat and toil that they were well worth their point and they certainly tested the Warsaw keeper on at least three occasions. The only negative point in the evening came midway through the second half when Grant in midfield for Shrewsbury was invited to knock the ball back to the Warsaw keeper after a stoppage in play and instead blasted it at the head of Sadler's midfielder Isaiah Osborne, who was knocked out cold and had to be stretched off. Utterly unnecessary, bizarrely unpunished by the referee. That apart, though, a cracking game. Now, if you know anybody who's got a bootleg of that Nightingales and Stuart Lee gig, send it over, will you? <laughs>